Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share with you this video all about bags with compartments. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love handbags. I'm really into designer handbags, but my sweet spot is handbags with compartments, plenty of compartments that keep me organized, keep me feeling tidy, and that just make it easier for me to place my items in and find them when I need them. So unfortunately, these two babies here that are sitting in front of us do not fall within that category. They do have compartments, but they don't meet the criteria in my mind of having plenty of compartments. And so I just put them out here as eye candy as I do my intro because I haven't showed um, the I haven't shown these bags in a little while and I was getting some questions from some of you on Instagram so yes I do have my Chanel classic flap I still have it I adore it I'm very smitten with it it is the vintage lambskin 20 years old with the silver hardware and then on the left I have my Valentino in the velvet it's black velvet with a champagne hardware it's the rock stud bag both of these bags I purchased pre-loved and I got amazing deals both on fashion files so again just some eye candy for the start of this video but I will place them to the side as I get started so bag number one that I feel is perfect for someone who loves compartments is da -da -da -da, the Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse so should I leave those two there I may move them if they get distracting, but for now, let's focus on the Pochette Matisse. For those of you who know and just watched all of my videos on this bag, I love, love, love this bag so much. Look at the compartments. You have, first of all, all this beautiful microfiber that's so nice to the touch. You've got one compartment here, another compartment, very roomy, and then a back compartment. Plus, you have the zippered compartment. So I actually place my phone and this is my iPhone 7 Plus case I took off just because I'm filming with my phone right now. So easy, so roomy to plop it right in, even if you have a larger phone than mine. And when I am walking around in areas that I'm familiar with and it's not overly crowded, I will even keep my phone in here and just leave it unzipped because this is laying against my body, so it's nearly impossible for anyone to get in there. And this way I don't have to constantly open the flap and get into the main compartment. But this is super roomy, but lightweight, very well organized. And I think it's just well thought out. And I love bags that are well thought out because it tells me that the brand or the company really thought about the consumer and our experience. So for sure, if you love Louis Vuitton and you like the canvas and you like lightweight bags that can be worn crossbody, shoulder, or top handle, and you love compartments, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. I know it's a little harder to get your hands on these days, especially a Made in France one. A lot of people had reached out to me on Instagram via DM asking me if my bag was made in France and where I got it. Yes, I lucked out. It is a Made in France bag. All of my Louis Vuitton items that I've kept few I've returned um, that I've kept are all made in France. I do prefer that. And I bought it at the flagship store here in New York City on Fifth Avenue. So if you want to try your luck, I think that a lot of the bags there now are made in USA. And my essay mentioned that she had one made in Italy. That was sort of an oddball one. Um, but there's no harm in calling and just checking. And I think with bags like this, patience is key. Don't rush it if you really, really want this bag. I think waiting it out and finding the perfect one will be worth it because I waited over a year to get this bag. You guys know if you watch my, my other videos on the Pochette Matisse. And by the way, I will link all related videos down below in the description box because I won't be getting into the nitty gritty of each bag in this video. I'm just going to be talking about the compartments. So if you'd like to see more information, feel free to go find those links in the description box and check out those more detailed videos. Okay, so moving on to bag number two. And you know, I will move these aside. Just to clear the stage so that each bag can have the spotlight. Okay, so my next bag is a Celine Classic Box Bag in the black calfskin. 
with the aged gold hardware. This bag, I, if you saw some photos that I posted on my Instagram account at Hello Catwalk City, I reference this bag as being the sister to my pochette Matisse. Here's why. It is very similar in size, shape, and capacity. See, you can see here. They just remind me of each other. Um, I'll show you the compartments. Here we go. It's like an accordion. Can you see that? So you've got one compartment here, one pretty large spacious compartment here, an open pocket for card holder, lipstick, keys, any small little knickknacks, another one matching right next to it. So plenty of compartments and then a zippered compartment for any items that you'd like to keep a little bit more secure or you'd like to keep them discreet. Uh, the back does not have another compartment like the Pochette Matisse. I will say that this bag will hold a little bit less than the Pochette Matisse. So if you were trying to decide between the two or you were comparing in terms of capacity, again, this is the medium size and it holds a good amount, but it will not hold more than the Pochette Matisse. It is also heavier because it is all leather. Like I said, all calfskin on the outside. The inside is buttery, buttery. I mean, super, super delicious lambskin. And because it is all leather and there are so many compartments, it is going to bag, make the bag just a little extra, you know, extra heavy. I, I mean, and I do love my lightweight bags. This I can still bear with. It's not too heavy for me, but just bear in mind that it's not going to be a super light bag. Okay, so that was bag number two. Bag number three is another Celine. And it is the Celine Trio. I've had this bag for oh, over two years now, maybe three years. And this is a no-brainer. It's a very simple, chic design, very minimalist, but not plain Jane. I think it just really adds sophistication to your outfit. There are three compartments, as you can see here. One, two, three, with the zippers. This also pulls apart because there are snap closures. I don't know why anyone would pull these apart. I never have felt the need to, but in case you were curious, they do come apart. And as flat <laughs> as it looks, quite a bit can fit. I can put a small planner in here. I can put a small book. I can put my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Um, looks can be deceiving with this bag for sure. And because there are three separate compartments and they're all zippered, they're very secure. And as long as you remember which compartment you put your items in, they're very easy to find. So there you have it. The Celine Trio was bag number three. Moving on to bag number four. This one is a new bag for me. Dun, 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 dun. It still has a tag on it because I just got it only a couple of weeks ago and it's February in New York City. This to me is not a February in New York City kind of bag. I'm gonna wait till it's really truly spring and summer because I imagine myself wearing this with florals, prints, light fabrics. I think it will look really pretty. So this is the Coach Cassie 19. Not the original Coach Cassie but the smaller slightly more square version of the Cassie. So it's called the Cassie 19 in the chalk color. And I'll show you real quickly. It has the turn lock here. This is the long bag strap that can go crossbody or shoulder. Here is the really substantial chain strap for a top handle, and then this top handle as well. So three adjustable, I mean, excuse me, three removable straps. How freaking cool is that? Three removable straps to just change up the look. And then the compartments is what got me. So you've got one here, another one here, another one back here, and then, yes, there's another one back here. And it is big enough for my iPhone 7 Plus with case. So even though it looks really cute and small, it actually packs a punch. And for the price, my goodness, you get so much. Look at this. And I don't have a white bag, so I thought this was a really fun addition. A lot of people have compared the Coach Cassie, the original one, to the Pochette Matisse. So let me just show you. The, I don't know, people have said it's, it's similar because the Cassie, the original Cassie, also has a top handle like the Pochette Matisse. But as you can see, this is much smaller and in my mind, cuter, but 
still enough capacity to hold all your daily essentials. And I just love the three adjustable straps. I really I love the versatility and just being able to play around with it. So, see? Okay, so I highly recommend if you're looking for a more affordable bag that is well made, that has, you know, the history and the heritage and the reputation for craftsmanship like Coach, because they've been around since the 1940s, I think 1941 or so. And being a New Yorker, I'm also just biased because this is a New York founded brand. Um, but for $295, you're getting a lot of bag, like just a lot of a lot of features and I think I will get a lot of wear out of this bag for sure and I won't baby it because I thought I would baby it because it's a chalk color it's very you know light and there could be color transfer and all kinds of stuff like that but I don't think so I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this bag so there it is and then moving on to bag number four or five I should say is oh big pile of bags on my left here okay my Senrev mini maestra bag I have mixed feelings about this bag I did a review I was very honest this bag was not gifted to me like many influencers and youtubers out there I bought this bag over a year ago it was Christmas 2018 and probably before all the crazy social media hype around this bag i was just really intrigued because it was presented as being the perfect work bag and i love the compartments so let me show you if you're not familiar with senrev it is a newer brand that is um, based out of california i think they're on the west coast so mine is the black pebbled leather they have lots of options lots of different leathers colors sizes but mine is the black pebbled leather that is water resistant and stain resistant that also got me because in new york there's all kinds of weather and i thought if it can withstand the rain and the hail and the snow and all of that that's just a plus silver hardware zipper nice microfiber and then look at the compartments so you've got a zippered compartment here you've got two open pockets here you've got another large compartment here then you have more compartments one here a tiny one here for a pen or a lip gloss and then another it's just really nicely organized as well as a little hook for your keys it's it's nicely done it's very well thought out it's very very thoughtful the back has a tiny pocket it kind of reminds me of the uselessness <laughs> of the chanel classic flaps back pocket the mona lisa pocket I mean, seriously, does anybody use this? I, I don't use this. I don't know what to put in here. I also don't want to stretch it out. Mm, it's kind of useless to me. So I don't have a great appreciation for this back pocket here, but it is what it is. At least they thought it might be helpful. Um, this bag also is really popular for the fact that it can be worn shoulder, crossbody, or as a backpack if you pull these straps down. I won't get into all the detail. If you're interested, you can take a look at my Senrev um videos so yeah i but i'm i have like this love hate relationship with this bag first of all it reminds me of a face and sometimes i think it's cute and sometimes i think it's gross <laughs> it just reminds me of this long nose with droopy eyes and i don't know about you guys but if you look at the celine nano too that reminds me of a robot face and even that sometimes i look at that bag and i think oh so cute so quirky and the other times I go, oh my gosh, it looks like a robot. Why did they make it this way? So I have mixed feelings and the same with this bag. And also this bag is heavier probably because when you have to make lots of compartments, you add material. So it's heavier. I don't say it's super heavy, but it's definitely not one of my lighter bags. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you may have seen not too long ago, I had another one of these bags in brand new condition that I sold. I sold it to another Instagrammer and she's very, very happy. The reason why I had two is because I first got this and then the little snap here that holds the zipper to the side, this here like broke off. I don't know if you can tell, but there's another piece here that kind of stayed it's like stuck on this piece here when it's actually supposed to be here. It's just weird. It's supposed to click, but it doesn't. So for example, here, or is it this side? One of these sides, it popped off. Oh, it's this one. So I, you know, I thought, 
I should get a newer one. I should get a, I know, one that doesn't have this sort of little defect. But I, d I didn't need to, so I got rid of the other one. I'm thinking of selling this at well below retail because it has this little doohickey missing. It's totally not noticeable. It still functions 100% fine without it. But for just other reasons, I have other bags that I reach for more and I'm not appreciating this bag as much. So if you're interested in purchasing this bag at a fraction of the retail cost from me, just DM me on Instagram and we can talk. Okay. So what are we up to? Bag number six. Okay. La, 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 la. Sorry for the background noise. There's stuff coming up from the street street level, so hopefully it's not too too loud. This is my Chanel wallet on chain, better known as the Walk. Black caviar, silver hardware, technically an SLG, a small leather good, according to Chanel, but I wear this as a bag. So how can this bag have plenty of compartments? Well, it does. Proportionally for how tiny this little bag is, I can put all of my daily essentials and they're very neatly organized. So let me show you. My phone goes in this pocket here. Then I can put some, some items in here that I just want a little bit more secure with the zipper. Then there's another pocket here where I can just put my, I don't know, I've put my work ID in here, I've put some receipts in here and then this is the larger compartment the main compartment I do have a base insert just to keep the shape and then you have the card slots so if you don't want to bring a card holder you can just plop your cards in here and then you have the zipper compartment that is very different from the classic flaps the classic flaps the zipper compartment is like wee big <laughs> this one on the wallet on chain it's massive it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So I put I've put plenty of stuff in here, nothing bulky, but I've put plenty of stuff in this compartment here. I can put passports, larger bills, feminine hygiene products, a little notepad. I think for this tiny little thing, the number of compartments and the way, way it's organized is amazing. And then of course you do have the little Mona Lisa smile here. Now, compared to the size of the wallet on chain, this pocket here is quite large and you can stick some things in here. I've seen people put little uh, disposable hand sanitizer packets, uh, receipts again, a few loose coins, um, wipes, uh, just anything that's flat. So yeah, I had to include this because people are surprised by how much I can fit in here and how well organized it looks. So it's a great bag. Okay, so I'm moving on to the very last bag, bag number seven. And that is, la 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 la. This is a bag that my kids call the pillow bag. And my husband actually likes this bag as well. And he's really, he doesn't care about my bags. So the fact that he commented saying that this bag was actually really nice. It's the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. It's very small. But this too packs a punch. So first of all, I just have to give you the squish factor. I've had this bag for well over a year now. I will do a wear and tear update video on this if you're interested. So let me show you. Okay, so here you have, it's black, so it's hard to see, but you have one compartment and then you have these card slots. Okay, you have four card slots. And then you have this large, larger open compartment. Then this part here I love, you have this midsection that is its own little pocket. And I put my Chanel card holder in here and it fits so nicely. And then you have another compartment and then you have a zippered compartment. So I've got some stuff in there. So let me show you, does my phone fit? Yes, yes, it fits fine. People are surprised when I show this. It fits perfectly fine here too. 
So after watching my video on the Toy Lulu, my sister-in-law went out and bought the exact same bag. And she's pretty picky about her bags, and she's actually, actually very, um, I don't know if frugal is the right word, but she has, she has this thing about not buying bags that are over $1,000. And this bag is slightly over $1,000, but she had gift card and some promotions, and she got it, I think, at Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus with some points, and so she got it at under $1,000, so it met her benchmark. And I'm hoping she's enjoying this bag because I love it. I love this bag. I wear it crossbody, and it's super cute, and the compartments really do make a huge difference. I think this bag is so underrated. So underrated. Okay, so that's it guys. This was bag number seven. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to join the fun. Until next time. Bye.